And how did you come by it? It was my grandmother's. I inherited it when she died. She was born in Scotland but fled when she was 19 at the time of the revolution. Her father was a lawyer. They escaped with absolutely nothing, just the clothes on their backs. Oh, and a small trunk packed with jewellery. And do you know where they lived? Yes, Edinburgh, in the old Georgian quarter, which of course was terribly damaged in the revolution. Well, that fits perfectly with this beautiful item, because the Georgian quarter was the redoubt of the old moneyed class. The acrosets, the oligarchs, and crucially the legal establishment. And so what we have is a rare survivor from that age. And we know exactly his provenance, not only because of your story, but because of its original box with the jeweller's name and addresses printed in silk interior, an address sadly that no longer exists. Do you recognise the central motif? The purple top rather gives it away, doesn't it? Yes, it's a thistle in pre-revolutionary Scotland. It was customary for people to give each other thistles in the countryside. They plucked real thistles. In housing estates, they exchanged cheap plastic ones. And in higher society, they traded incredibly ornate variations of the thistle theme, such as this. So was the thistle some sort of love token? No, it represented agnosticism, a deep loathing. But a piece like this was designed with, as it were, a postmodern knowingness that would have been given an expensive joke. Darling, I detest you. That kind of idea. It's a 24 karat gold and the diamonds are charming, but it is the exquisite enamel that is really impressive. And the little mark on the back? Well, that denotes the name we're all familiar with, doesn't it? There was quite a fashion among the youngster upper class for using Gaelic ornithology, even though none of them could speak the language. It's a lovely thing, and rather poignant in the light of your family's history. As to value, well, I can see it easily fetching 150,000 euros at auction. Thank you so much for letting us see it.